Next up on stage, we have Ben Mullen versus Mike Wisenick. So Zizix awaits the winner of Alex and SQR. And now at the bottom of your screen, we got Jake Stein taking on Chad Muse and Mike and Ben. So we have competitors from Japan. We have competitors from Europe. And Ben Mullen is from the far, far away land of Minnesota. This is truly well, a world championship. traveled far and wide to get here. It's a magical fairy tale land, I'm here. I will say that as a Canadian, we did also have a Canadian competitor try to qualify. He's actually in attendance right now wearing his Winnipeg Jets jersey. He's uh, a big Winnipeg Jets fan. So shout out to him for thank you, Corey, for coming as well. But this is a world affair. You mentioned Scandinavia represented, mm -hmm. Europe represented uh, Japan. through Scandinavia, Japan, uh, Asia represented. So that from far reaches of the globe, they all come to Portland, Oregon to compete in this competition. And boom, Tetris for Ben. Off to a good start for both players up top. Jake is in trouble already up top. We mentioned this is a family affair, of course. Uh, look no further than Jake Stein in terms of the family affair that, that Tetris can be. His wife Kristen also qualified in the uh, round zero. After she defeated him in the finals at the satellite tournament. Which I can only assume means you have bragging rights for life, right? At least for a couple months. Yeah, no, Kristen's nodding her head in approval. Yes, that's correct. Chad played great Tetris yesterday. Oh, Ben's in trouble. That, that, okay. Ben Got gets out himself of out of trouble there, as we can see. Boom, Tetris for Mike. We are neck and neck up top. Mike also with a good history with the CTWC. Boom, Tetris for Ben. Chad has qualified for the CTWC for five years. He came in third place in 2013, the first year he competed. And interestingly enough, he ranks Ben as one of his rivals. So even though they're not facing off with each other, Ben's like, what, really, me? And yeah, maybe I'll see you in a, in a future round. They're sort of diagonal, kitty corner to each other right now. They're not facing yeah, each other, Z but... Zizix Tetris for Chad. And speaking of Zizix Wells, uh, Ben had a great term that he came up for that type of Tetris. He called it a das hole. That's his quote, not mine. So all negative attributions go to him for that. And that might win the best dad joke of the tournament. Boom Tetris for Mike with the one Tetris lead. Ben not happy right now. He wants to fill up that. Uh... Speaking of Canada, you have a nice CN tower on the right there on Ben's play field. Pretty much. Nice long bar tuck there. He's waiting for another long bar. No, he's going to have to close Mike it up. Mike has that Good horrible. Good positioning there. He's okay. Gigantic hole he's got to open up, and he got the fortunate square RNG right there. Some dirty play up top. And some clean play at the bottom with the Zizix well, but copped it off with Jake. Ben's behind by a Tetris and a half, but Mike's got some digging to do so Ben can come back. Ben in great position. The drought is over. Boom Tetris for Ben. 37%. Tetris rate for Ben thus far. Mike burning lines. Uh, he's at a 23, 24 now since his last Tetris. Meanwhile, Chad with a 40% Tetris race in the bottom. Tetris rate, I should say. Jake burning lines since his last Tetris. But gets one right there. Chad with a 43% Tetris rate. Meanwhile, Jake with a 21%, but that will help. Jumps him 4% to 25. Alex has moved on. He has defeated SQR. So he will face Zizix in the next round. Over at the side stage next, we have 
The number one seed, Corian from Japan versus some guy named Paul Tezzi. <laughs> Love you, Paul. All right, some guy, if you can make it over to uh, Jonas's area, please. A little personal rivalry between me and Paul. It's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Paul's the advantage in that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chad with a great play field. Nice and low. Building as well. Jake with a Tetris. He's leading on points. Both of them. Ch Jake with 120 lines and they make that 124. Meanwhile, Tetris percentage in the 40s for both Ben and Mike. As they say, neck and neck up top. Jake has transitioned. He's got the half Tetris lead. Boom Tetris for Jake. Chad's playing it a little bit slower. He hasn't transitioned yet. So a little trivia about Mike uh, Winzenek. He's actually the uh, age 12 to 17 Cleveland, Ohio, 1990 Nintendo World Champion champion. We have a lot of NWC 90 alumni here at this tournament. Ben is in trouble with that transition. He's, oh, that might do it. And Mike takes round one. Mm. He also loves to restore and play pinball machines. He will take round number one over Ben. Ben's smiling about it, though. He's definitely not out of this one just yet. Boom, Tetris for Jake. Both players, meanwhile, at the bottom have transitioned. Ben's history is he likes to take round ones against strong opponents and then falter, so maybe he's doing a reverse psychology thing this time. You, you could see by the, the red and green stripes there that both players were back and forth in that match. It was pretty evenly matched. And the transition just was too much for Ben. Jake has opened up his well. He's got a one Tetris lead. So game number two is underway as well Man, between Ben and Tetris Mike. Tetris for Jake. Nicely done. Jake doing a great job here. Chad, meanwhile, with a Tetris in hot pursuit. As we're, you can see, they are, are neck and neck. Indeed. 6,000 point difference. That's nothing. Mike and Ben have started game number two up top. Both of them Tetris ready. Both of them back-to-back -back Tetrises to start things off there. The Simul Tetris. Again, it's uh, 22,800 points for a Tetris at level 18, so you can do the rough math in your head with the green and red indicators. Oh, Jake's a, oh no. Jake oh. with some unfortunate drops right there. And Chad's gonna take it. Chad takes game number one. After Jake was leading for much of the game. One mistake does it. Lots of 500,000 point games in round one here in this first round. As you look at the statistics there, Chad did get, or Jake I should say, got a lot of points before the transition. So our round of 16 filling up very nicely. Yeah. Corian and Paul Tessie happening on Jonas's channel right now, Nubbin's goodie. They will face, whoever wins there will face Buko in the round of 16. Zizix and Alex already set. Larry and Terry will face off. Yanni and Joseph will face off. Jonas and Joey, Jeff and Svavar. We got some heavy duty matchups in the round of 16. Jake and Chad happening right now. Ben and Mike, and then after that, two more matchups in the round of 32. Just about done with round one. We are cruising over, along. It's great. Cruising along, indeed. I might actually get to eat a lunch this time. Don't jinx it, man. Yeah. Boom, touches for Chad, and Jake had to cap off his well. He is in trouble. And he cleaned out of it like the professional that he is. Boom, touches for Jake. Boom, touches for Chad. Neck and neck. Ben is in trouble up top. 
A tuck there by Jake. A Tetris for Jake. He's trailing by a Tetris. Chad with a great playing Dirty field. Dirty Tetris for Ben. Not happy with that Filthy placement there. Tetris. Jake might be feeling it right now. You were talking earlier about that sophomore jinx, so to speak. It might be happening with Chad. He's not happy. He's been shaking his head. No, not happy with the placements there, but he's Boots. back in position. Back in position. As soon as we mention it, they erase it like, oh, that didn't happen. It's like they want to prove us wrong as commentators. Hey, it's fine fun, by us. Getting some great gameplay here. Chad doing well as well. Ben with a great play field. Boom, Tetris for Mike. With a 50% Tetris rate thus far. Chad operating at a very impressive 72%. That is max out pace. Corian and Paul started. Cool, okay. Again, we got Corian and Paul over on the side stage. You can watch it on Jonas's channel on Twitch. Tetris for Jake, who has taken a very slight lead. Meanwhile, Mike is up by a couple Tetrises up top against Ben, who's fighting for his tournament life right now. Needs two back-to-back -back wins. Has a drought right now. Mike had to settle for two triples in a row with that odd arrangement at the bottom. It looks like he'll dig out of it just fine. He's going to open up the right well. So as we mentioned, uh, matchups happening on the side stage as well on Jonas's channel. Corian playing right now. If you were to ask Jonas who he thinks the favorite is going into this tournament, he specifically mentions Corian as his personal choice for being the favorite. They played an exhibition match against each other. Yep. Uh, and Corian was the victor there in Hong Kong. Both of them went to a, uh, an expo in Hong Kong, had a chance to play classic Tetris for an audience there. Boom Tetris for Ben. So Corian playing right now Another in his first round of 32. And you gotta wonder how much the mental game will be a factor. Corian has been playing in two tournaments right now. Though he's been the most impressive going into the tournament, he hasn't necessarily had the finishes he's wanted. He hasn't had his big moment yet. Everybody is waiting for it to happen, and this could be the year, but we'll have to see. Ben with a great well, Tetris for Ben. Mike building a nice well as well. All four competitors with a very great board right now. Lots of flashy, flashy lights. Boom, Tetris for Mike. We're neck and neck on top, less than a Tetris lead for Mike. Up the bottom, a half Tetris lead for Jake. He's getting a bit high though. And they could not burn because of that, oh no. Oh. And there Chad goes Jake advances. from the tournament. Very unfortunate with a couple of placements there. A round of applause from the audience. Chad will move on as he sweeps Jake in the round of 32. Just an unfortunate set of pieces there up top, and he was playing very high. If you blink, the game could be over. And speaking of that, Mike transitioned and is dangerously high for level 19 play. Well, ben could take advantage here if he is able to keep his piece at the bottom. And, and yes, Mike it. looks like he will resign to the fact that he will miss game two. And they are now tied at one, a decisive game three between Ben and Mike on the horizon. Chad ben. moves on to the round of 16. He'll face the winner of Green Tea and Sam. Up next on stage, we have Packy versus Josh Tolls. So Patrick and Josh Tolls, let's make our way to the stage. Patrick is our Dr. Mario champion. He's gonna try his hand now for the first time qualifying in classic Tetris. A nice crossover event here as Patrick sits down. Any update on the side? Corian update? No, no win yet? Thank you. And as, as we mentioned, Packy won the Dr. Mario National Championship at Replay FX earlier this year. Uh, Classic Tetris YouTube channel hosts those videos. Go take a look at them, that's fun to watch. Now, I mentioned Chris Brady was very well dressed, perhaps the best dressed in the tournament, but we have a contender here in Josh with that snazzy purple shirt blazer combination. 
serious dress there. I'm telling you, we should make it mandatory for all players to dress up in tuxedos and gowns next year. I'm wearing my NWC t-shirt and feel like a scrub. Affair. Or else you are eliminated. All right, so update on the side stage. Corian took round one, and in round two, both players are neck and neck in the level 19 area. So Paul is playing strong against the number one seed. And up top, Ben is dangerously high, but he got this line piece right when he needed it. Boom, touches for Ben. And Packy was the one upset in our round of zero yesterday as the lower seed advancing. So as you might expect, Corian has advanced to the next Corian, round. Corian he defeats advanced. Paul Tassi, so it will be a... How about this for an interesting matchup? It'll be Corian and Buko in the next round. Ooh. And for our final round one matchup over in the side stage, we have Green T, the number two stage, uh, number two seed versus Sam Perry. I believe Green T was the first to max out in qualifying this weekend. And he maxed out several times, bringing him to the number two seed. <laughs> Corian, of course, the number one seed in the tournament. He will advance. So it'll be one versus 16. In the round of 16, Corian and Buko. Zizix will take on Alex, Larry and Terry, Yanni versus Joseph, Jeff versus Svavar, Jonas and Joey are the round of 16 matchups set thus far. Josh is the regional qualifier from Tecmo Madison, one of the most popular retro gaming tournaments along with CTWC. Tecmo Bowl is a huge eSport I mean, the retro scene. Tecmo Bowl at Tecmo Madison is an amazing event and I'm glad they hosted us out there. Packy is a Nintendo World Championship finalist from 2015 along with me. And on a personal note, uh, we've been pretty good friends ever since that event and it's good to see him up here. You have friends? <laughs> Ouch. Yep. And uh, although he's come to my personal tournament in Columbus a couple years and uh, another one of our friends, Tim Hansen, has beaten him twice. So we're, we're friends and also rivals, but you know, I'm rooting for Packy on a personal level. And it's awesome to see him up there. We did have a Dr. Mario tournament on Friday. We did a little bit of a fun stream where we did Tetris speed runs. Uh, Adam, Adam, Trey, and Vince had a really cool concept about a Tetris speed run competition. That went very well. And of course, a Dr. Mario tournament there, uh, which Patrick won. And But he did mention, even though that he was very interested in playing that tournament, he really wanted to do well at the CTWC. He really feels like this is the premier tournament for retro gaming, and he wanted to make a name for he, himself. He picked up the game to, to spite Mr. Vince Clemente, and he's done it because he's sitting up there and Vince is the bubble boy this year. And up top, Ben has taken a two-toucher sleeve, and Mike's got a clean play field, so expect another tight one up top. Boom, touches for Ben. Two and a half Tetris lead up top. Mike is right where he wants to be, though. And interestingly, Mike's playing the more aggressive game. And we've started at the bottom, and we are neck and neck, one Tetris each for Packy and Josh. Mike is clean up as well, okay. Ben is beautiful right where he wants to be with a three Tetris lead. But they're about to hit the transition, so it's gonna be level 19 play to determine who advances to round two. Mike has transitioned as clean as he wants to be, but takes the triple. He might need to turn up the aggression a bit. Packy's looking pretty good. 
Dirty Tetris for Packy. Straight from the 619. And another Tetris for Packy. Nicely done. Dirty Tetris for Josh. One and a half Tetris lead for Packy. Ben is looking beautiful. Mike is looking pretty good. Ben opts for the double with the lead at the transition. And another Tetris for Packy. Ben looking great. Mike looking great. Josh with the Zizix well set up. Everybody's looking so good. Boom, Tetris for Packy. Mike's in a little bit of trouble now. He might get that line piece. He might get that dirty left Tetris. He's waiting for it. He needs it. Can he get it? No! Oh, he misses it just barely, and he will top and out. Ben Mullen and it advances. Will be met. Ben, that goes on to the next round. That was a highly competitive Woo. round of 32 matchup, and the crowd awards them with applause, and it will be Ben that moves on. It's a game of frames that one more tap would have kept him in the game, but bad news for Mike there. So Ben moves on. He eliminates Mike, and Patrick and Josh will meet Patrick or Josh, I should say, will meet Ben in the round of 16. And, in the, and on the side stage, Green Tea and Sam are rounding out our final round of 32 matchups. So only two left in this round, and the rest of the field has been set. So here's Patrick and Josh right now, game number one. Both of them opting to start, or both of them at level 18. Patrick and Josh with a drought. Droughts. No good, Patrick. Not happy with what he's. You can see the animation you, you, on his he, face. He's very animated. He's, as he he's plays. doing. He's cleaning it. Dirty Tetris for Josh. Both players handling it as well as you could hope. Well done, Packy. Josh was another dirty Tetris setup. Dirty and Zizix at the same time. And Josh has opened up a two Tetris lead. Well done. Da he, you could see him breathe a sigh of relief when that line, when that bar, long bar came. They both still got some work to do. Pack, uh, talking about Patrick. Boom, Tetris for Josh. Josh with a great 60, playing field. 60,000 point lead. 93 lines. Patrick opting to build his well. A poor placement there, not happy with his placement. Josh is going left well, but now that we're nearing the transition, he might have to play more conservatively when we transition to 19. Patrick is Tetris ready. Maybe burning a couple of lines here, but waiting for Boom, that Tetris long bar. Tetris for Josh, 90,000 point lead. Oh, he had to cap it. Uh, there he goes, that's fortunate. Boom, Tetris for Patrick. Everybody's into this match. Boom, Tetris for Josh on the left side. And you notice with the BRN burn counter, it tells you how many lines you have to burn. Boom, Tetris for Patrick before achieving the Tetris. That was 52 lines that mm. Patrick needed to burn before his next Tetris. The Tetris rate is going to be really low when it shows up again. Boom, Tetris for Josh, who's in cruise control right now. He is, he's playing very well. Impressive 50% considering the piece arrangement. Josh opts for the triple to clean up and go back to a traditional right hand well. Boom, Tetris for Packy. He's closing that gap. Nice we're, tuck by Patrick we're there. We're about to transition here. Going to change gears. The, fit, the speed will increase 50%. Green T ahead 1 0 in the final round of 32 matchup. Still going on. Sam needs two in a row in order to advance. Meanwhile, here, Patrick. There's the transition for Packy. Little dirty, but he can handle it. Yep. Cleaned up his board, did Packy. He is now in position to make himself Tetris ready. Oh, it came just a little bit too early. Josh in great position. He's ahead by 91,000 points. 
Tetris ready. Tetris for Patrick. He's got some fans in the audience. Does Josh, the Dr. Mario champ. Josh is in the lead, and he's playing it a little conservative. Opted for the double instead of building as well. Triple for Josh. Packy with the three deep. There it is. Boom. Tetris for Packy. People appreciate point lead. Appreciating that line placement, he could have been aggressive and gone for the triple, but he opted for the Tetris and it paid off. What in his Dr. Mario play, he can turn it on and off the aggressiveness, and he's doing the same thing in this match. Wasn't happy with that O placement, but nothing he can't manage. A 13 bar drought. Oh, he's he's double line dependent now. There's one of them. Oh, oh no! No, that was a bad placement there. This might be it, and it will be. Josh will take game number one. Calm, cool, and collected. Josh has been this entire game. As we look at the statistics, Patrick had an early lead, but Josh really took over in the second half. Well played, guys. So uh, green tea. So green tea has advanced. Just an update for you there. Green tea has advanced, so he will meet Chad in the next round. As we take a look at our updated brackets now, so the only matchup left to determine in the round of 32 is Josh taking on Patrick, and Josh just took game number one, the seventh seed. Ben awaits the winner, but again. How intense are those matchups in the round is, of 16? This is round one. Josh maxed out in qualifiers, and Packy took him pretty hard. These, these are not gimmies anymore. And Josh starts off a little dirty. He can handle it, though. Packy's beautiful, and boom, Tetris for Packy. got a one and a half Tetris lead early. And you'll notice our new statistics, TRT is Tetris rate. If you exceed 60%, that is max out pace. BRN is burns, that's number of lines burned since your previous Tetris. So you see Josh has burned 14 lines, but he's about to fix that with a Tetris. Packy with the center well. Center roll Tetris for Packy. Two Tetris lead. Josh with the center well. He's center. He's Tetris Boom, ready. Tetris Josh. And Josh has got it. I like how the center well has expanded in the past couple years. It's no longer taboo. Boom. Dirty center wall Tetris for Josh. Boom, Tetris for Josh. Opaki with a Tetris lead here as he's going to continue his cleanup. It's always interesting. You, you touched up on it earlier, Chris, about just the second game and the mental game that you're playing against yourself after having either a great game one or a poor game one. Tetris for Packy, yeah, it, it's, you, you notice that a lot, that the second games after an intense first game tend to be letdowns. Boom, Tetris for Packy, but Packy's playing it great. Josh is ready, and the RNG is favorable. Boom, Tetris, and another one if another line comes, and there it is. Ooh. And he's going to play aggressive. He's going to keep that well open for the Tetris rather than take the triple. Boom, Tetris for Packy, 70,000 point lead. Boom, Tetris for Josh. This is a great game again. So we have some comments in the Twitch chat asking who some of the new faces are. Green Tea being an example. Green Tea uh, flew here from Japan. One of our Japanese players. Maxed out. First try. Second seed. Cruising so far. Boom, Tetris for Josh. Boom, Tetris for Packy. I'd like to thank our sponsors. Of course, Tetris Effect here. They have a booth here, people trying the new game. Ting. 
Also a proud sponsor of the CTWC. We thank them for their efforts. Josh set up with the dirty Tetris. Boom. Pacquiao opting to duck uh, to tuck that line. Boom, Tetris continues for Josh. Continues to burn, and he gets himself out of trouble. Still with the 10,000-point lead, but he has been he's burned 18 lines since his last Tetris. And with this Tetris, Josh comes all the way back and takes the half Tetris lead. But Packy's in beautiful shape with the classic right well. Boom, Tetris for Packy. Neck and neck, back and forth. Packy will not lay down. So interesting comment from Peter in the chat here. He says, I'm a big fan of NES Tetris, but I don't think I can compete with those guys. I am not sure. Believe me, when you play somebody even moderately good at this game who is here to qualify and getting five, consistent 500,000, 600,000 scores, the cutoff this year was well above 500,000. 560. Boom, Tetris for Packy. And we added eight competitors this year, so yeah. that just goes to show you how intense the field is this year. My all-time best score is 490. Not good enough. My all-time best score is four. Wow. That's a metric four, too. You're from Canada. <laughs> Tet nice tuck by Packy there. And boom, Tetris for Packy to take the lead. Josh is ready with the left well. There's a little bit more difficult to maintain, and they're coming to the transition. Boom, Tetris for Packy. Two Tetris lead. Boom, Tetris for Josh. So this is the last match in the round of 32. The round of 16 will begin very shortly after that. In fact, it'll begin now. We're going to have Jonas versus Joey over on the side stage. And that'll still be broadcast on Jonas's channel on Twitch. So if you're looking to watch Jonas's progression, be sure to add, for those at home, add the second stream, Jonas's channel, at Nubbins Goody. He is facing off right now against Joey in the round of 16. That is on Jonas's Twitch channel right now on the side stage, and then and boom, to, for Packy. to round things off in the final eight, the quarterfinals, all those remaining matchups will be on this channel here, the classic Tetris Twitch channel. Transition for Josh. And beautiful transition for Pack. You can't write in a better script for that. And he's Se ahead by 78,000 points. The level 19 game is what Packy had to do to improve, to make the the bracket, and now he's in trouble. Nice tuck there, and you can see he's really, he is dialed in. He's very animated as well. You can see it in his face. There we go. And the fans are behind them, really want him to succeed here. Really want to see what he does. After transition, great placement there. Gets himself out of trouble. Josh is in dig mode too. So, Packy's cushion. If he can get that piece over to the right, he'll be in great shape. No! Oh, and he just barely misses it. And he will top out with 73,000 in the lead. A 49% Tetris rate. He suffered three droughts. And he was at about 470 post-transition. And now it's up to Josh. If he can get 66,000 more points, he will move on to the next round. Two Tetris will do ben. it. We'll see how he plays it. That's about as high as you want to get. There it is. There's one. Hey, now he only has a triple available there. there. This is going to get interesting. He closes as well with a single. And he's playing moderately high for this level. We'll see if he can even get back that into position great. here. That might be costly, the placement of that long bar. And it looks like it might be Patrick. It's, it's Patrick. He's is almost he? pulling his hair out. He's oh. just celebrating a little premature, but it will he be got in it. that case. Yes. So, Patrick wins game two, barely, and we will now go to a decisive game three. Yes, take a deep breath, sir. You are in an elimination game in the CTWC. Amazing run for Packy. This seems like a very appropriate way to end the round of 32, doesn't it? This is a great match. This is the lowest seed still alive. He's got a chance. 
and Josh is not. He he maxed out for for cripe's sake. But level 19 play is the key here. It, Packy struggled a bit and and managed to pull it out, but that's going to be key if he wants to advance. So here we go, game number three, our decisive game three, Patrick and Josh. And, and Josh is a machine. He, he took that loss. He's like, whatever, dude. I got this. Emotionless. Yeah. Completely emotionless. He's not, he's not showing any of his cards. Complete poker face. He's cooler Meanwhile, than his Patrick, outfit, which is hard to do. Yeah, right. Meanwhile, he came straight off the set of Miami Vice to be here today. Meanwhile, Patrick completely animated. You can see he wears his heart on his sleeve. Very passionate. Already shaking his head. He's like, I don't like this placement right now. Nice tuck there, though. This is way more exciting than Blast Ball for Packy. Boom, Tetris for Packy. Dirty and center well. Josh is just cruising right now with a 72% Tetris rate. Boom, Tetris for Josh. Packy not panicking. Boom, Tetris for Packy. One and a half lead for Josh. Two and a half lead. People asking on our Twitch chat, where is the second stream? It is actually Jonas's channel, at Nubbins Goody. He is playing right now against Joey in the round of 16. The winner of that goes to the quarterfinals. We'll play the winner of Jeff and Svavar. Look at that. Mm. What a... That's how intense this competition is. Josh's board is absolutely gorgeous. Packy's got the right well. He had to cap it. It's open again. He'll need that Tetris if he has a chance. As fortunate. The long bar came at a good time. He might make himself dirty Tetris ready here. He needs He's desperately got... leads a long bar. He'll try to burn some lines here. Oh, the long That's bar not came at the happen. wrong time. Josh Patrick advances. fizzles out. Josh will advance to the next round. A formidable effort by Patrick, who had the crowd behind him. But Josh will move on, and that finalizes our round of 16. Oh, we're looking there. We Hi. thank you very much for joining us here at the 2018 Classic Tetris World Championships with Chris Bidwell. My name is Ardo Ocal. Your regular commentators, James Chan and Chris Tang, will be joining you in the final starting with the quarterfinals. Very excited to be here. This is my first time here at the CTWC. I am so stoked to be here. Believe me when I tell you, I've been watching from a fan for the sides. Many of you are commenting on the Twitch chat how much you've been involved with the Classic Tetris community. And like we said before, Chris, this group of competitors is absolutely stacked. It's never been this formidable. This is the best round one I've ever seen. It's amazing. Uh, when I was in round one in uh, 2014, I was terrible. There were a lot of terrible matches. I don't remember a terrible match in this whole entire round one. Wait, I'm just going to uh, even better. Fix my tie bar right there. There we go. Now, speaking of accessories, you're wearing your Nintendo 2015 World Championships, yeah, which of course you competed in. 15. But how about this right here? We got some new merchandise, classic Tetris merch. Look at that. That's a beautiful purple. shirt. Very nice. It is purple. That's tough to pull off purple, but they did it.